Servus guys and welcome to the next tutorial about the Buildcraft robots. Today we are going to have a closer look at a tree farm, fully automated uh, tree farm with uh, leaves, apples, oak wood and oak saplings. So our basic setup as usual. Some kinesis pipe, uh, wooden kinesis pipe and engine and a bit more energy. Here we go. Of course our docking stations and our emerald ore gates. So redstone signal and here we go. So the first thing uh, that we have to do is our defining our zone. And this is uh, very important. We need some maps too. This is very important for um, this farm because of the fact that, well, of course we need one zone for the, um, for the planter where we define where our yeah, farm will be. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned already in, in, in the uh, wheat farm tutorial, it's very important to keep in mind that if a tree is being planted at the, f at the border of this zone, um, some parts of the tree might be outside of the border and won't uh, be, yeah, won't be um, seen by any robots. So you have to do, um, a second zone, I call it picker, uh, for the picker or in this case for the lumberjacks and uh, the leaf cutters. Um, yeah, just in case that trees are outside of the border or part of the trees uh, are outside of the border. So this is quite important for this tutorial. We are using uh, redstone on, redstone off. And uh, for all robots except the planter, we are using the picker location, the picker map location. So as usual, uh, right click for copying, shift right click for pasting. And uh, in the last one, we switch the picker location to with the um, tree farm, with the normal map location. Otherwise, uh, the other points um, are the same as usual, work in area and uh, go to station. So the first one is the planter, uh, like with the wheat farm, the planter is planting uh, oak saplings within its uh, defined area. So now we uh, need to get him some supplies. And to get things out, as you already know, we get uh, we need our wooden transport pipe. Cobblestone pipe is for getting things into a chest. Uh. Oh, there we are. Nice little chest. Uh, wooden transport pipe for getting things in, uh, for getting things out. Sorry docking stations and here we go and we just tell them if there are items in your inventory then provide items all items that are in the inventory so this will be just fine now oh, let's kill the slimy our knights are not doing a good job our knight robot um, and now we need of course some oak saplings Here we are and now this should be fine for the planter. So now the planter should go there and uh, get some get some oak saplings and he will start to plant the oak saplings within the defined zone. As usual the planter is yeah planting very randomly. So yeah don't cope with it. Just take some time. Okay so the next one will be our lumberjack. The lumberjack breaks logs, as it says here, and uh, yeah, we'll cut the trees, and yeah, this is fine. He will get everything within the zone, and the zone is a bit bigger than the planter, so we should get all trees killed. And uh, yeah, of course, the um, the lumberjack needs um, axes, so we should supply them with axes, and we can use our um, existing uh, existing uh, supply thing here and now the the lumberjack should get its axe and starts uh, cutting trees. So let's give him some trees to cut and this should be fine and our lumberjack should go now. 
and do his job. Now getting his axe and he's cutting the tree. The thing is with the lumber uh, jack, the same as with the miner, they just can um, mine or kill oak wood that is on the surface. As you can see on the right tree there, uh, in the background, um, or as I, I think I'm showing to, you know, this one, there uh, is oak in, inside of it and um, protected by all the leaves and the lumberjack isn't capable of going into the, the tree itself or kill the leaves. So this one would stay forever. Uh, but we have a little solution for this. So, um, but in the meantime, we get a picker because the lumberjack, as all the other robots, just kills the tree and leaves everything there. So everything is lying on the ground, and uh, we need the picker to, yeah, pick it up. And uh, well, we need a chest for the picker to get the stuff in. So therefore, we need a cobblestone transport pipe as we had before and we want to tell the picker that in this chest he should leave all the saplings and in the other chest he should put all the other stuff. So um, with some docking stations, here we go, we tell this thing okay if there is space in inventory then accept items and in this case just accept one item, the oak sapling. So now the picker will yeah, get the oak saplings in this in this particular chest. And in the second chest, we want to have everything else. So, Emerald Gate docking station. Ah, oh, fail. And I'm recording this. Uh, I'm I'm doing a voiceover, so I know I fail again. <laughs> and now I'm screwing it <laughs> and say, okay, fuck it. Just two docking stations are enough. Okay, now we tell them here if there is space in inventory, then accept items. And now we uh, have to put in there all the other items like oak wood. We need um, the leaves, the oak leaves, and of course the apples. There we go. Now the picker should be fine and as we can see the picker has the oak, wood and apples in there because uh, at the last try, at the last scan, he, has, he did not find any inventory for the other stuff. So now he should put in there the oak, wood and the apple. Nice. Okay, let's get some trees. Oh. Okay, then don't grow. Here we go, need some work for the robots. Okay, just fine, let's start them again. Here we go. And uh, yeah, now we have to get um, the problem with the, with the leaves, we had to get on the problem. And there's the leaf cutter, a special robot who cuts leaves, which is very important to have that on, on your farm because otherwise uh, your farm will eventually be stuck sometime because all leaves uh, are uh, or all wood is um, are put, is protected by leaves and the lumberjack the lumberjack has no chance to reach the wood because it's just just scanning the over uh, the surface and so we go for two um, leaf cutters and they need shears so we have to supply them with shears and here's a, here's a slight problem um, or within all the robots, there's a problem that uh, the gear is using up. So the shears, like in normal Minecraft, if you're using the, the shears, they are getting used up. And after they are finished, the robot will just stay in their docking station and won't move anymore. And you won't recognize if the what's going on because it doesn't tell you that the shear is, is done and um, the robot needs a new shear. And uh, yeah, there's a little solution of that because um, you have to tell the the robot that he should or it should um, bring the old shear to the chest and get a new one. And that's what uh, we are doing just in a sec. 
we tell this one, okay, um, if there's space in your inventory, then, or this one, doesn't matter really. Accept items and accept shears. Uh, I tested it with a broken shear. I don't know if it's working with a new shear. Uh, you might want to test it and write it into the comments. But normally, um, well, with this setting, I tested it with the broken shear and it worked fine. As you can see, there are already the broken shears into, in the chest. And uh, yeah, now the broken shears get into the chest and um, they get, the robots will automatically get a new shear after the, their own shear is done. The same might be uh, for axes or pickaxes or whatever hose. Um, so keep in mind that you have to refresh your Robotos gear. And uh, yeah, keep in mind that you have to have a supply of shears into the chest. For example, with the applied logistics system, ME system, to have a crafting cart there um, that is producing shears whenever they are done. And uh, a void chest, for example, um, for the broken shears. So, but uh, yeah, that's all about the um, tree farm with the robots, which is working very fine. I, I really like the, the, the thing with the tree farm. Um, and yeah, I hope uh, this was a bit helpful for you. And thank you for watching. And I wish you a good day, a good week. And see you next time. Servus, guys.